Hello everybody, this is day two of the conference here at Garden Court Hotel in Kitwe. It's the EU Zambia Business Forum Conference and I'm sitting here by no less than Mr. Charles Sakanya, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Mopani. Welcome to the, this is interview, Mr. Sakanya. Thank you very much, nice to have you here. So, um, day two of, of the conference, what are your key takeaways in terms of what's happened so far at this conference? I think the major takeaways are to do with the partnerships, uh, doing things differently, uh, value addition, and those that value additions must be done here in Zambia in a way that is sustainable, in a way that will protect our environment, in the way that we help grow the Zambian economy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've obviously been sitting on some discussion panels. Can you tell us about the latest panels that you sat on and what the subject matter was for that panel? We did a panel this morning. It was about uh, uh, sectoral economy, mm -hmm. um, value chain addition. Mm -hmm. From beginning, we talked ma about mining. We went from mining uh, is a complete value chain uh, in, in a way that supports the Zambian economy. So it's from mining to cathode production to uh, products that you send into the market. In this case, we talked about copper cables that mm -hmm. are done by new companies in the in Zambia. The so-called downstream. Downstream yes. association. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about uh, enabling uh, the downstream in, in, in a way that Zambia can benefit. And uh, the president obviously talked about bringing high-level technology in, into the country. Uh, how do you see the future of mining shaping up uh, for our country? I think there's more mines, uh, there's more mines coming up. We are talking about three million tons of cathode. Indeed. That requires uh, more investment in, 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 in power. Uh, we need 10,000 megawatts from the current 3,800 about. So that's a mammoth task. So we need to see growth in the energy sector. Absolutely. But we also need to see what I talked about earlier, the partnerships. We need to get this cathode and add value. Uh, in the energy mix, we need to be looking at solar, we need to look at other forms of energy, we need to look at the downstream uh, businesses that supply to the mining industry, that supply to the Zambian industry, that will be done in a way that will protect the environment. Looking at recycling, uh, looking at turning this earth cathode into more products. For example, there is the battery uh, initiatives. So we need to start partnering with companies that can make components to that battery uh, product we're looking at as a country. So do you think that um, the three a uh, million tons per annum is an achievable target in the, in the year, I mean, in, in, in time frame that we've set ourselves. I think it's good to have a target. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a vision. Something to work towards. Something yes. to work towards. And there's exciting projects that are coming up. There's the COBO the projects. There's mm -hmm. a few more projects that mm -hmm. are being investigated in the, in the Northwest. Um, there's the expansion projects for Lumana, Mopani is back in business. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of mapping that is being done by the Ministry of Mines. Mm -hmm. So we have to continue to look um, yeah. and then bring these projects on board. You, you mentioned cobalt there, which has been a very interesting story in terms of how they deployed artificial intelligence to deliver the, the project outcomes. Do you see Mopani, uh, perhaps also investing in, in AI to do some of the, the, the future work in, in mining at, at Mopani. AI is very wide. Uh, there's, a, there's various ways in which you can employ AI. The mapping that we are talking about, the systems now, you don't need to go and drill. The initial, mm -hmm. the initial investigations are area-based. Uh -huh, uh -huh. um, then you go into technology. Yeah. We already have uh, Wi-Fi installed underground. We already have high-tech winders. Mm -hmm. 
we already are talking about. We use uh, LHDs, uh, loaders underground. Mm -hmm. These are remote controlled. So AI is a different facet it's mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. automation. And that speaks into safety, it speaks into productivity. So you can deploy AI in various Very ways. Many ways. people are scared when you talk about AI. They think you lose jobs. Yes. You actually retrain the skill set into skill sets that now speak to the AI. So Absolutely. you grow the business, you grow the economy, you grow the, 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 the skills base. That's Absolutely. more to do with retraining. And on that positive note, I would like to thank you, Mr. Charles Sakanya, for being here with us on the Financial Insight Show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Indeed. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, day two at the EU Business uh, Forum, or rather the EU Zambia Business Forum, Garden Court Hotel, Kitwe. This is Financial Insight. I'm Clarence Chongo. And as we say at Financial Insight, get to know.